Hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The first blooming of this. This is the first bloom ever in my life. Really? Yes. Today we have in bloom the first time the Fagraea solanica that has been elusive in its ability to bloom here at Logies. I have tried for 20 years, 30 years, most of the time I've been here on and off to bring this plant into flower. It's a native of the tropical forests throughout Southeast Asia into India and it actually grows as an epiphyte in many places. I'm not exactly sure what the trigger is. We had had this out in a warm house. We brought it in here where it's cold in the big house and it came into bloom this spring. There's the first flower on it and um, they only last for a day but have a very sweet fragrance to them. We're not, as I mentioned, we're not exactly sure what the trigger is, whether this tree will continue to do that. Many of those that are grown in cultivation are grown from seed and for graves are known to take many, many years, decades to go from seed to bloom. So this might have been the shock to this young seedling, which is now oh, about eight feet tall, uh, to bring it into bud for us. Mm, very nice. Its culture is quite easy. There's not many insects that are bothered by it. it. As I mentioned, it's an epiphyte, so it really likes dryness and wetness, dryness and wetness in the soil. It can grow under lower light conditions. Um, also it can grow under high light conditions. And as I mentioned, this was taking some cold temperatures, went down to the 40, high 40s and 50s here in the wintertime. So it certainly would tolerate that. It can be quite a vigorous grower, so a little pruning might help, but I would certainly wait until you get buds on it before you start to prune it. It's also known to be difficult to propagate, although we've done cuttings on it and it actually was quite easy. So hopefully in the future we will have this um, available for some of our customers. Thanks for watching. Visit us at logis.com.